so in this video I'm going to be calculating the constant of proportionality, that's the letter K that you've looked at before, uh, but this time not for direct proportion, we've looked at direct proportion before, I'm going to do it for inverse proportion. So Y is inversely proportional to X, so the way that we can write that, Y is inversely proportional to X, Y is inversely proportional to X. And y equals 10 when x equals 2. Question A says calculate the constant of proportionality and hence find the rule relating x and y. All right, so there's a little bit of work to do here. So step one is to write the gen rule. Now the general rule for inverse proportion is y equals k on x. Okay, that's step one, right? The general rule. Step two, substitute what you know. Okay, so what do I mean by substitute what you know? Let's look at question A again. Calculate the constant of proportionality and hence the rule relating X and Y. First sentence, Y is inversely proportional to X and Y equals 10 when X equals 2. Those are the things I know. I know that Y equals 10 and I know that X equals 2. So I can substitute them in. Y equals 10. I don't know what K is yet, but I know that X equals two. Okay, so 10 equals K over two. Step three is find K. Just a tiny little bit of algebra here, because we've got 10 equals K over and we need to rearrange this, and we do it by getting k by itself. The 2 is there at the moment. We need to get k by itself in the right-hand side, so we multiply both sides by 2. 10 times 2, k over 2 times 2. That gets rid of the 2 on this side, and what we're left with is k equals 20. Calculate the constant of proportionality K. We did it. This next bit says, and hence the rule relating X and Y. What they mean by that is the general rule is Y equals K on X, but the specific rule here, step four, Uh, put K into the general rule. So the general rule is Y equals K on X, but the specific rule for this question is Y equals 20 on X. Okay, so we did two things. We calculated the constant of proportionality and we found the rule relating X and Y. And we pulled in under four minutes. That's inverse proportion and calculating the constant of proportionality.